Howdy folks, welcome to another episode of the All Things Adobe Chad and Todd podcast, bringing you the best of Adobe software, which we love. This is Chad Perkins here, and in this segment, I'm going to show you a trick in Premiere CS3 and kind of also in After Effects CS3, but for whatever reason, it's a little bit more powerful in Premiere this time around. It always kind of baffles me because it seems like the Premiere team and the After Effects team are kind of like on different pages. Like with the last versions of Premiere and After Effects, Premiere had clip notes, which is this really powerful feature for sending video for client review using PDF technology. And After Effects had Time Warp, which is really awesome for time remapping and stuff. But both of those features weren't in the other product. But thankfully in CS3, time warping is in Premiere and Clip Notes is in After Effects, so they're on the same page. So maybe with the next version, with CS4 or whatever that is, maybe uh, this feature will be the same in both applications. But as for right now, again, it's a little bit more powerful in Premiere. Now what we're going to talk about is how to export your video to iPods or other content. Now this is great if you're new to CS3 or if you're just a basic user and you've never used Premiere in your life, then this tutorial can be beneficial for you as well. So all all I'm going to do here, once I have Premiere opened, is I'm going to double click in the project panel and I'm going to open up a sweet movie clip. Then I'm just going to drag and drop this down into my timeline here. Now you'll notice that my project panel is highlighted. I don't want to work in the project panel. I want to work down here in the timeline. So I'm going to click that to get this little orange yellow outline around it so that I know that this panel is selected. If I hit the space bar, it will preview this over here in the program monitor. Awesome. Now what this is is a clip from Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Now, if you've seen any of my Premiere Pro CS3 Essential Training or my After Effects CS3 Essential Training or Encore CS3 Essential Training from lynda.com, you're probably familiar with this clip already. I use this clip and many others like it in those training titles, which is really exciting. These are public domain movies that I use, this one being uh, Santa Claus Conquers the Martians again, and also Night of the Living Dead and Ninja Death 3 and a bunch of other great B-movie classics we used in those training titles. I'm pretty excited about it. So we're going to take this super sweet clip from Santa Claus Conquers the Martians where this robot comes in, uh, robot sent by Martians of course, comes in, invades the North Pole at the request of the Martians that own him to kidnap Santa Claus. (laughs) Probably the awesomest movie plot ever devised. So now what we're going to do is export this for iPod. But as you'll see, again, it's more powerful in Premiere because we can not only export it for iPod, but for Yahoo Video, YouTube, MySpace, and a whole host of other stuff. So I'm going to go to File, Export, Adobe Media Encoder. These other options are sweet, but they're not good if you want to output your video to iPod or YouTube or what have you. So I'm going to select Adobe Media Encoder, and I'm going to go to this drop down here for Format, and I'm going to select H.264 as the format. This is very important. And once you select H.264 as the format, go to this preset drop down and looky looky here. There's all sorts of cool stuff. There's all sorts of 3GPP presets and 3GPP is a standard for cell phones and other mobile devices. And here are four different Apple iPod presets. Now, if you've played around with iTunes and you have an iPod, you've probably noticed that iTunes is a little picky about what it will put on your iPod. The video has to be formatted just so, just perfectly, so that it goes on to your iPod correctly. Even a lot of podcasts out there, you have to actually convert them before putting them on your iPod. So using one of these presets ensures that your users can just stick it right on their iPod, and that's just one click there to get that job done. Also, you'll notice here again, we can convert this to Google Video Specs, MySpace, Yahoo Video, YouTube, and also Sony PSP. I should also point out here that if you're trying to go to mobile devices, there's a new program included with any bundle of CS3 software called Device Central. And Device Central allows you to preview your content, whether it's wallpapers or video itself, on cell phones or other mobile devices. But that's a subject for another day. So all we have to do is select an iPod preset and hit OK, and it'll render out to an iPod-compatible video format. But not just the size, again, everything will be correct. If again, if I select uh, iPod Video Small, for example, then it conforms the standard 320 by 240, 30 frames per second, progressive, etc. Everything set up, all ready to go on your iPod. 
square pixels, the whole bit. Now I'm going to hit cancel here and go over to After Effects. I'm going to show you how this works in After Effects. I have that same clip and I've added it to the render queue, which I'm going to maximize here by hitting the tilde key on my keyboard. And it's kind of the same way here. I'm going to go to the output module. I'm going to click on lossless to open up the output module. And under format, again, I'm going to select H264. Once I do that, then the Adobe Media Encoder pops up in After Effects. I can click on the presets as before, but you'll notice that I'm much more limited here. For one, there's no Apple iPod audio settings, and also there's no Google and YouTube and Yahoo Video, etc. None of that stuff here as well. But we do have a couple iPod video settings and a few Sony PSP settings. So just a few bells and whistles. They don't really advertise. Like if you're going to go to Adobe.com or whatever and check out the new features of After Effects or Premiere CS3, these aren't things that they really wear on their sleeve or advertise, but these are the new features that I think are super sweet, little bells and whistles like this. So that's how you create video content for iPods and other devices with Premiere and After Effects CS3.